In this video, I want to talk about how you can chain together multiple distortion overdrive and distortion effects and get different results. I'm going to work with the synth that I used in the previous video where we had a synth going into some fuzz sounds, but here I want to take the synth sound, which is a lead synth sound, and pass it through a selection of different saturation and distortion effects. And then what I'm also going to do is change the chaining order and show you how that can also have quite an effect on multiple effects together. So starting off, I've got the Green Reaper, which is a Tube Screamer Overdrive effect. What I've got here is a Tube Screamer Overdrive effect, and I want to enable it, turn it on, and increase this drive just to give a bit of boost and drive to the signal. Before, needs a bit of a level boost. That's a bit much, so I'm going to pull back the drive. Maybe just shift the CQ. Now I want this to go through into another drive. So this is the Native Instruments Dirt. So I'm going to have one drive going into the next. I can switch their chaining order. You can hear there's a slight difference in sound there. So the nice thing is you can chain multiple saturation and drive effects together, set the settings that you want, and then start flipping them around to hear the different results they have depending on which comes first and which goes last and see what you like. So I think I like this dirt before the Tube Screamer. Now next, let's pass both of these in serial into a fuzz pedal. So this is the Big Goat. I'm going to turn down the sustain and we're going to play back. Increase that volume. Change the tone. And now I start increasing that sustain. You can hear it's already getting quite crazy. So things are going to get a bit noisier and noisier. So I'm just warning you. Now let's just take a step back and hear what we had before we had these three effects on. Now I start adding one at a time. The dirt in the overdrive. It's a bit of a drop in level. And then into the sustain fuzz. Now, what you're going to start noticing is that when you stack distortion and saturation effects on top of each other, it's going to get quite unyieldy. And what you actually need to do is apply little bits at a time and stack them up. So what I'd recommend rather doing is going back and using less of the drive and gain staging than you'd expect to use. And then when you stack them all together, you're gonna to have a more pleasing result. So I'm gonna take this and also just pull everything down. So now we've got something like this. Sounding very nice and thick with three effects changed together. Now let's take it a step further. Let's add in some bit crushing into the chain. Switch that bit depth down. Start some down sampling. And reduce that clip level. So things are getting pretty crazy. Now what I want to do, start switching the chaining order around with these and hear the different results. Let's put this bit crusher before the sustain. Now let's take the fuzz and put it before the drives. Drastically different results. Now let's take the spit crusher and put it in the beginning. So it's actually insane how different the results are when you've got stacked drive and saturation effects and then you start switching the orders. So it's really fun to take a whole bunch of these types of effects chain them up in a sort of layered serial fashion like this, and then start flipping through them. Now I'm just going to take it one step further, and now let's add a distortion effect. So this is a stomp box emulation of the boss metal zone, and I'm going to push this to the max. Push the distortion up in the level. Now what you're going to start noticing is that I'm actually pushing it way too far now. That's way too much distortion. And one more thing I just want to show you, 
is if I take all these things, maybe not the bit crush, let's leave the bit crush there. Let's take the fuzz, push up the sustain. Let's take the dirt, push both these drive channels up. And I am going to warn you, this is going to be a bit loud and crazy. So if you've got headphones on or if you're listening back through your headphones, maybe turn them down a notch. But really what I want to get to is when you're pushing everything to the max, you're layering and chaining them together. What you're really going to get is just a whole bunch of noise. For example, just make sure your level's down. Listen to this. Switch some things around. Maybe the bit crush on the end. The sustain on the end. Oof. <laughs> That's just way, way too much noise. But basically, what I just want to show you is that there is a limit on how many of these effects that you can chain together. And like I mentioned in the beginning, just use sparing amounts. You really don't need a lot. Basically, when you use little amounts and then chain them together, it's going to sort of stack upon each other and give you some really nice results in the end. So you might just get something with stacked gain effects that you wouldn't get with just one effect alone. And I don't think I really need this distortion. So let's have the dirt into the Green Reaper, have the, have the fuzz, and then into the bit crusher. And we've got something a bit more manageable like this. maybe something very low in the mix with all this amount of saturation will actually work quite well. So the key really here is to experiment and have fun. Take a whole bunch of distortion and saturation effects, chain them in together, tweak some of the settings, change the chaining order and see what results you get.